Hi there and welcome back to Tyranny. It's Judgment Day and we are the law. In reality it's Warrior's Day, but this is our slogan. This is our motto. Um, Quite down. You see we are in Duskwatch Fort. There's still a lot of ex to explore. Uh, we need to assist the disfavored commander here. And first we must find him and or find what is left here. I can open up this uh, fort here. But I'm always one to wanting to explore like the outer rims first to see what is there, what can be brought out of it. There's often uh, hidden treasuries out there. There's often Easter eggs and something like that is what I don't want to forget to find. So um, if you're into such a big such a big encampment or if I'm into it at least I'm always so fascinated by the story that I may forget to look at the, Sorry, the surroundings Dad. which is very important as well also I'm not I'm definitely not using the, the login stuff from paradox at the moment have you used that um, have you had experience with it good experience I'm I'm not sure. I, I think it would make the game too easy if you get constant potions or something. But uh, what the hell, it, I, in general it's not a bad thing. Even in the oppressive rust storms, the unbroken soldiers have remarkably good aim with a bow. Aha. Uh -huh. So this is the camp of the unbroken. Yeah, we we want to help maybe the unbroken to remove the last of the regents from its throne to be able to free graven ash's daughter so that's the whole of the story and that daughter we don't know if she still lives we have found um something from her a war sign part of a war sign and a dead body a long dead body Probably it was not her, but you'd never know. This wind here is from the Edict of Storms that Kairos has uttered um, until the, the last of the regents of this country is dead. There's gonna be constant storm in this country. Uh, it has led to <laughs> a lot of people fleeing from here, but it has also led to combat advantages from the dwellers of this area <laughs> as they are more used to it than the attackers which makes absolutely sense right so there is Osmius the guy we should help storm the disfavored camp uh, the the unbroken camp hi there Osmius you have quite a troop here with you hi there but his favorite commander wears his armor over broad shoulders and stands if, as if he knows it all too well. Graven Ash protects Osmia's 32nd Legion. A pleasure to have you join us, even this close to Iron Hearth. We need all the help we can get. Frowns at Barik, still trapped, I see. How are you faring under there, soldier? It is challenging enough to fit food through this stubborn iron bucket. I have gained several hundred pounds of iron and muscle over the last year, and I smell like a mass grave left open to the sun, but I am for the moment upright, he nods to Osmius. As you might be able to tell, this fort is a tough nut to crack. The unbroken aren't too keen on surrendering, and our preliminary attacks have yet to break through. One of our soldiers is chained inside, Kalayas, and we'll go any length to get him out. He glances at the fort with longing. What's your business at Duskwatch? I expect you've come to aid in the war effort, but when it comes to Tunon's agents, it pays not to make assumptions. Hmm. Let's see. I mean, should we tell him that we want to retrieve Agent Graven Ash's daughter? That would bring Graven Ash into an uncomfortable situation. Because it would seem that... Um, that he was using his army for personal business 
something he's trying to avoid at all cost. That's that much we have understood, even if we're not that intellectual. Um, I'm here to help the disfavored and put an end to the unbroken. That's something. We could also go for soldier, our background. Standing against the unbroken will make more than take more than harsh language. It, I bring you tactics and experience. So we're proud of our past as a soldier. And um, yeah, we're going for that. And we are always glad to receive both. The Unbroken have their fair share of hobris, but more seasoned veterans on our side will be exactly what we need to teach these southern children a lesson. Day and night, my forces have battered themselves against those walls, but even the tireless disfavored have their limits. I'm afraid we're out of commission until Ash's Aegis takes the edge off and knits our wounds closed. You, on the other hand, look lively enough. What's... Say you help us get Carlyles out and soften up the Unbroken for execution. We will do that. Um, I'm surely not claiming we don't any need any help. Hmm. Killing might not help me. That is true, but we hate the Unbroken well enough. I mean. The guy that was there, like, taunting us, teasing us? No. Count me in. The Unbroken will shatter against our offensive. Before you get too excited, your job is to infiltrate the base under cover of night and extract the prisoners. Don't let anyone spot you. If you alert them while inside, you'll be on your own. Callias is a good soldier, and he's been in Unbroken hands longer than anyone should have to endure. You might think him just another stone shield. But Ash holds the lives of his troops in high regard, so we should consider the recovery effort as important as taking Duskwatch itself. Ah, we can already smell it, right? Callias has been in an unbroken hands, and he's now working for them, probably. I'm spotting treasury everywhere, Osmias. Even if you do not. I'm an experienced judge, <laughs> or oh, we are experienced judges. There are a few structural weaknesses along the perimeter which should help you sneak in. After releasing Kalias, open the front gate from the inside. Flashes you a toothy grin. We'll flood the keep and make short work of other Agathon's soldiers. With these seven or eight guys you have? Well, okay, if you call that a flood. I mean... These are disfavored, so it should be enough, but still... Are you ready to begin? Hmm. First, we have, a, we have a few questions, because we need to prepare well. Um, first, what do you know about the Unbroken? A gang of tearsmen with delusions of honor. I'm sure they wish their ranks were as renowned and elite as the disfavored. Unfortunately for them, the best they'll ever do is die by our hand or surrender and face hard labor. They rally around someone named Matthias, a low-bones stalwart captain of some moderate success. He smiles bemusedly. Strangely enough, there's no love lost between the unbroken and the old establishment, a hereditary bloodline known as the Regents. With that much division in their ranks, I don't know how they hope to succeed. How has Duskwatch stood this long in defiance of your troops? Glances to his left and right with a frown. I hate to question the great general or his command, but we are overworked and undermanned. That's what they always say, right? That's why we are there, delivering Kairos' edicts. <laughs> there won't be any additional supplies coming our way until the fort is in our hands and the Unbroken set up their defenses with a long siege in mind. During the conquest, we pushed through the stalwart defenders like they were old hedge rows. These unbroken are a breed apart from their countrymen. In losing the war, all of a sudden they have something to rally behind. I don't want to say that we underestimated them, but he shrugs and trails off. Well, I found evidence that Ash's daughter passed by Sentinel Stand. Could Kalias know more about her disappearance? Amelia, Osmius draws himself up. By the north, I have never even considered that anyone in her unit survived capture. If his sanity is still intact after all this time, then it's entirely possible 
that Callias could tell us something. It's been some time since I allowed myself such optimism. If Callias traveled with Ash's daughter, then we have a chance at taking her back from the southern wretches. So, what's your story about her? How was she lost during the war? I wish I could tell you. If what you're suggesting is true, and I have no reason to believe it isn't, then Callias should be able to tell us more about what happened to her and where she ended up. Ah, I smell it. Callias and Amelia are now a romantic pair and are uh, working for the unbroken. And we try to we try to rescue them and they will try to kill us. Is it that? It is that. That's my fantasy about this. We dispatched cohorts of soldiers to recover her unit, but we had to pull back our efforts when the Edict of Storms hit. Navigating the region became less organized and more a matter of chance. I am sure that Ash has worried himself sick, wondering about his daughter's safety. I have worried as well, and the question plagued me, even as we marched to recover her unit. It plagues me still. So, uh, Kairos proclaimed an edict even though Ash's daughter was missing. I mean, we know that, but we want to find out what he thinks. With all due respect, Ash's daughter means less than a dented goblet to the Overlord. Kairos is above such matters and wouldn't pause to take the girl's safety into consideration, much less yours or mine. Besides, the great general knew the risks of sending his daughter into battle. He wouldn't let his feelings compromise the war effort. Oh, thank you for all this info. We need a moment to prepare. Well, don't take too long. The Unbroken already have enough advantages in the region without doling out the luxury of time. No, it's not about time, really. It's about checking the equipment. Let's have a look at the party stash. What does the Jacob have? Ardent Bronze Sword. The superior. And the Sun Soldier's Javelin. Mm, there we have a Bronze Hammer. Let's compare it. Yeah, the Javelin is not bad because it can be thrown, but I mean, look at the comparison from the Bronze Hammer. Let's give him that freaking hammer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really a good thing. Yeah, both of these weapons are really good. Maybe let's stick to the Bronze Sword for now. Just to have Slash Pierce with Jacob and to have Crush um, with Barik, the Tenderizer. <laughs> yeah, the Stone Shield Tower Shield. Very good thing. Mm, what else do we have here? The Forge Bound Hammer. It's fine, but not superior. Yeah, so all of this is fine. We're not bothering to check. Because we have had really good weapons. Now we have the Gut Seeker. Let's put it into this hand. Maybe we'll find something better. That is common, right? So maybe... Yeah, even the Bronze Dagger is better. Um, that is the Gut Seeker. That is the, the fine Bronze Dagger. That is much better. And Ardent Bronze Sword. That's here. That's still good. We could go bronze dagger, bronze dagger. Are these two fine bronze daggers? Are they looking differently? Yeah, this is a bronze dagger. Looks like this. This is another bronze dagger. Um, looks some other way. Interesting. We have the bronze throwing dagger. Um, that's not that good. A twisted iron sword. Mm. I'm not sure. I mean, we should just go for two daggers, probably. Two bronze daggers. They have such high accuracy, which is very good for her. She's not really specialized in that.
Then we have the bow. Tiersman hunting bow versus the short bow. Um, I think the short bow wins. As I said, she's not really specialized. And we would probably need more accuracy and DPS instead of more armor penetration and range. So let's look at Landry from the weapons. We have that fine thing, Ejoa's Calling. Got the Staff of Titans. Mm, not as good. What is that? A one handed and thrown weapons. Can we give him the bronze throwing dagger into the other hand, maybe? That's pretty cool. We'll do that. Put this into the main hand, maybe. Also has more DPS. Nice. So, this is about the weapons. Now... Let's look at the armor. Start with Jacob again. He should get the best equipment. Like the melee is getting the best equipment um, because they are at the front and they really need the best equipment. What do we have here? Bronze brazers. Fine. They are... I don't know if they are better. Um, they're not really better, right? Recovery time is better. Hmm. It's really pretty close. We can just stay with that. Compared to that light leather gloves. No, we want heavy armor now. Um, these are okay. Both light armor. So we don't care. Mm, the cloth tunic, no. Heavy bronze boots. That would be something. Give us more armor. Against deflection, disengagement defense. Yeah, maybe the commander's will is still good. On the other hand, um, heavy boots. Maybe give us that heavy armor bonus, right? Let's try that out. That can only be worn by Jacob. Well, so remove a hostile effect on kill. That's not bad, but it's also not trumping anything. Uh, let's have a look at the rest here. These are heavy. This is light armor still. Would be thrilled to replace this, but it's not possible yet. Uh, this is a good helm. We'll, we'll just leave it at that. Yeah, the Iron Walker helm. No. That is just a bad helm. Now here we would have accessories. That's what we're going to do next, but not now. Um... Let's look at the light armor here. Light leather gloves are really good. The liberating ones though, they have... Uh, unbound. What does that bring? Immunity to paralyze. That's good, but not really good that often. This has more precision instead of recovery. We'll leave it at that. There's no really big improvement. Cloth tunic? No, not really. Stone shield armor. Yeah, that's okay, I suppose. Then we've got Lantry. Yeah. Uh, let's look at the cloth we have. Cloth tunic. It's absolutely the same. That's the sandals. Nobleman's sandals. Scola's boots are better. Sage's boots. Scola's boots are better. 
Light Bronze Ridge Helm. Hmm. Sage's Hood. I think everything's good here. Yeah, the high accuracy of these bronze daggers. I just had to look at them again. I love them. Let's look at accessories. We don't have any accessories found. That's a pity. Let's have a look at the consumables too. What could we bring in there? Mm, we still have lesser healing potions. Let's give some to Lantry. And some others. To Verse. Got the bigger healing potions. Let's give them to Barrick. Yeah, we could distribute more, but... I don't know if it's really possible, uh, not possible, if it's really that important. Jacob has enough. I mean, he can be saved easily by Lentry. And that's what uh, we're counting for here. So thank you for watching this final preparation. Next time we'll go and, um, yeah, infiltrate the Duskwatch Fort. Happy gaming to you. It's Judgment Day and this is the law. And we are the law, together, against these unbroken. Let's break the unbroken in the next episode. Happy gaming to you. This is Emmanuel Kahn, signing out.